Welcome to Purpose. I'm your host, Corey Clark. I'm just a normal girl who decided to go for it. I created a thriving business from the ground up without sacrificing my sanity, and I believe that you can do the same. You were created on purpose, for a purpose, and I fully believe you can turn that purpose into profit. Each week, I'm going to bring you practical advice to help you live your life and grow your business on purpose. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Purpose. I'm your host, Corey Clark, and I am so thankful that you're here listening to me today. So last week was an amazing week. We had our first mastermind retreat of the year, and um, it was just amazing. And so I actually decided I wanted to share a little bit about that with you guys today. But before we jump into the show, I wanted to give one of my reviewers a shout out. So each week I'm going to be sharing one of my reviews with you guys. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to the show and leave me a review and you might be featured on the show. So this week's feature is from Aid and it says, I've been following Corey on Instagram for about two years now. And I love all the inspiration she shares daily. This podcast is awesome because IG stories aren't enough to really soak up all the goodness she has to share. The second episode specifically has spoken to me on a deeper level. As a tired mama, it was everything I needed to hear. I so desperately needed to create margin in my life and she shared some super simple ways to get started doing just that. Thanks, Corey. Thank you so much, Aid. That was so sweet. So like I said, if you guys haven't yet, go ahead and leave a review and you might be featured next week on the show. Okay, so like I was saying, last week we had our first mastermind retreat of the year. And I feel like since I was already in one last year and I hear people talk about them so much, I always just assume that people know what they are. But as soon as I shared about it on my Instagram stories, I started getting DMs. What's a mastermind? What are you doing? What is this that you're doing? And so I thought, okay, I guess I need to share this with my audience. So at the beginning of 2018, Ryan and I joined a high-level mastermind. And, you know, I had already done like a million online courses and trainings. I had signed up for all the things, whether they were free or paid. I watched hundreds of hours of training on YouTube and whatever I could get my hands on. I listened to hundreds of hours worth of uh, podcast episodes, but I knew that we were ready to up level in a big way. And especially if we wanted to build a profitable and scalable business so that we could live the life that we've always wanted. This was a very big investment of our time and finances, and we didn't take it lightly. But we knew that if we really wanted to go big and not just have like a side hustle business, that this was the next step. So what is a mastermind anyway? A mastermind is a group of like-minded individuals who are at a similar level of business and come together to support each other on their journey to success. So it's usually led by a facilitator, and that facilitator can help guide and instruct the group as needed, but each member is really bringing their own expertise to the group in order to pour into others. It's truly for people who have already found success in their business, and they're really ready to up-level their game and create a higher level of impact and income. So a mastermind is usually made up of a combination of monthly online meetings and in-person meetings. Ours in particular, like we meet monthly on a Zoom call and our facilitator will usually share a new idea or something that's working in his business and then we have the opportunity to share any problems that we're currently having in our business or shifts we're making that we might need some direction in. And then three times a year, we meet in person for a two-day retreat. And this is truly like where the magic happens. So the two-day retreats combine some training and coaching. And then usually like we'll have an expert come in to present whatever topic they're an expert in. And then my favorite part is the hot seats. So last year, I hated the hot seats. I was nervous to share. And I honestly like I'd have a hard time like 
taking feedback from people. I'm such a perfectionist. So it used to be really hard for me to hear other people's opinions of what I should or shouldn't be doing in my business or in an upcoming launch or whatever it was I was working on. But these have quickly become my favorite part of masterminding because really that's what a mastermind is and should be. So we had two hot seat sessions at this last event, and one was around a table where it was just like five of us, and then the other one, we had a chance to present our hot seat question or problem in front of the whole entire group. So during a hot seat, you get to share a current problem or maybe a new offer you're creating or maybe like a new shift you're wanting to make in your business. So you present this problem and you ask a question. And then you usually spend a couple minutes doing that. And then the rest of the group gets about 15 minutes to kind of pour into you. They can ask you more questions if they need clarification. They can give you ideas of what might work. They can help you find holes in your um you know, in your offer or your plan that you have, they can really help like fine tune exactly what it is that you're working on. And this is truly like, honestly, like where it all comes together for me because as an entrepreneur and those of you out there who are entrepreneurs will totally understand this, it can be lonely and you can have these amazing ideas, but when you can't bounce them off of someone else who is at a similar level as you, it's hard to see where there might be gaps or holes, or maybe there's something even better you can do. And so there's just so much clarity that comes from the hot seats, and they are really my favorite part. And it's so funny that my first year, I just was scared to death. I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to ask? And now I've just learned like, hey, if I'm open about this is the struggle I'm going through in my business and this is how I think I should move forward and then to sit and listen to my peers either confirm things that I want to do or give me better ideas, it's just amazing. And I leave that place with this whole new level of clarity and excitement to move forward. So the biggest reason Ryan and I even joined last year was it put us in the ring with the big players and it took us to a higher level of performance and it gave us a significant degree of accountability. And it's really hard to explain what happens when you put yourself in the room with other high level entrepreneurs. There's a shift in the atmosphere and it's like suddenly anything is possible and Each of us have something unique to bring to the table, which makes working through these trials and tough times so much smoother. And honestly, last year, the new offers that I created that were a direct reflection of what I learned in that group generated thousands of dollars in revenue. And I honestly can attribute it to the things that I either discovered during our mastermind sessions or things I learned during our mastermind sessions. It was just honestly a game changer for us. But beyond the additional revenue, our personal growth and the foundation that we set for our business is more than we could have ever imagined. It has completely changed the game for us and we're now building momentum and moving forward in the right direction. We're more aligned with who we are and what we want to offer and everything is just flowing and feels more certain. So now that you know what a mastermind is, I want to touch on what it is not. So number one, it is not a coaching program. While there may be coaching throughout the year, depending on what you're going through, this is a new beast. This is collaboration. This is accountability. And yes, there is lots lots of coaching, but you're not just constantly going to your group or to your facilitator saying, here's my problem. Help me fix it. And I just love the fact that it's really a collaboration of like-minded people and you're not constantly having to ask for help or trying to learn something new. You already have that level of education and knowledge that you need going in and then these people help bring you to a higher level. And the second thing that it's not is it's not a training or a course or a class. So while there 
are some trainings and teachings throughout the course of the year. It's not a specific program. So the facilitator and the other mastermind members, they share their expertise with each other and we really help bring each other to that higher level of success. And we're really in it for each other's success as much as we're in it for our own success. So how do you know if a mastermind is right for you? And here's what I think. If you have already taken a ton of courses, you've gotten the coaching, and your business is really bringing in revenue and it's and it's moving, you know, maybe it's not moving freely and maybe it's not bringing in the revenue you want, but it is a proven business. You've proven that your idea and what you offer can bring in money and you don't need to learn a ton of tech stuff and you don't need to be taking courses if you've kind of burnt out on that and you're really ready to take this business that you have that you have found some success in and you're ready to up level it you're ready to add to your commitment you're ready to pour into others then I definitely think a mastermind is right for you. And there's tons of them out there these days. And so I think you really need to be careful to find one that is right for you. Find one where you won't only be pushed as a business owner, but you'll be able to help push others as well. And you'll be able to take the knowledge and the expertise that you have and you'll be able to pour it into the members of your mastermind and you guys can collectively work together. You can network, you can collaborate Um, You can just help each other achieve that success that you're all after. And so I'm really excited because I'm actually opening up my own mastermind and I'm just going to take a handful of female entrepreneurs who have already found that success. They've, They've already proven that their business is working, but they're really ready to pour into other women and take their business to the next level. And so if this is something that you're interested in, I'm taking applications and you can go to coreyclark.com slash mastermind and that will take you to the application. And after I review the applications, if I feel like you're a good fit, we'll go ahead and set up a call so that we can discuss things further. But like I said, if you need to listen to this episode again to see if this is something you're ready for, then do that. If you feel like you're not ready, then I challenge you to really pour yourself into your business, to get it moving in the direction you want, to really start gaining that momentum so that at the end of the year, when you are ready, you can join a mastermind because I truly believe that that is where the magic happens in these businesses. And that is where you will find this new level of success and this new level of momentum and this new level of commitment. And it's really for the people who want to change the game in their business, who want to make like massive amounts of impact and income and really change things, not just for their own family and their life, but for the lives of people around them. So like I said, if you're interested, go to coreyclark.com slash mastermind and apply for my small mastermind group of female entrepreneurs, and I would love to have you in there. So like I said, go to coreyclark.com slash mastermind to apply, and that will be it for today. So if you want any details, I'm going to put all of this information in the show notes. You can go to coreyclark.com slash 10 to get all of the notes for today's show. And I will actually be back on Friday for a bonus episode. I had a huge aha moment last week at the Mastermind Retreat, and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. So I am gonna go ahead and get another episode ready to go, and it will be out on Friday. So thanks so much, you guys, for listening, and I will see you on the next episode. 